I think a project like this is by definition out of the ordinary. Um, I don't think one can expect to know what's going to happen every step of the way. I do have a narrative, I do have a structure, I do have a plan for the work, but I'm allowing that to shift. Very broadly, it's based on the fourth industrial revolution. All the weaving I do is a newspaper, so it's a process of dyeing and cutting, spinning, and then weaving the newspaper. As we're weaving all these different pieces of newspaper together, we're kind of reconstructing the narrative of contemporary South African news. You know, there's classified ads, there's stories about the local cricket team. So it's all these little bits, these little worlds that come together to create this new image, a new narrative that we're working on. Traditionally, tapestries are large carpet-type artworks that hang on walls. Um, they're very two-dimensional, and I'm hoping to break that up a bit. Over the years, the works have become a little bit more playful with the medium, less confined to the tradition, leaving the negative spaces, sewing on pieces where necessary, creating different textures. So spatially, the project becomes a very three-dimensional object that you can interact with. <laughs>